Hi, Wes. I'm Eugenia from Argentina. How are you? Hi, Eugenia. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I uh, love the background. <laughs> Me, too. <laughs> it's really nice. How are you getting ready for the new season? Oh, my gosh. I'm, I'm I, you know, I'm, I'm so excited that Taylor's just given more and more to this show. So, you know, it's been always a challenge, <laughs> always heavy, but also, uh, you know, that's kind of what I always wanted to do. So, you know, I, 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 I dread it because I'm just want to meet, I want to make sure I meet the quality that he's written. You know, uh, I've seen like half the new season and it's amazing. Oh, nice. the, the tension keeps building up. So oh, congratulations. It's a great season. Thank you very much. What do you think that people are, are so drawn to a Western in 2022? Well, you know, the Western was kind of dead for a minute and Taylor brought it back with this new perspective, the modern, I guess they're calling it a modern Western. I, I think it's just a Western, but um, he is so, he understands what's mm -hmm. going on out West and he's able to bring that credibility to the, to the, to the show. And so, you know, um, we're really lucky for that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you've been doing this role for a couple of years now. Do you believe like you know the character by now or there's still some things that you need to find out about him? Well, yeah, both. You know, as we all grow, we discover things about ourselves. So in that sense, definitely, I, I will continue to discover things about Jamie. But, uh, you know, after five years, he's basically got more space than Wes does <laughs> in my in my head and in my world. So um, <laughs> it's almost like automatic, I guess. It's sort of like second, not second nature, but it's just all those pieces are there. You know, it's 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 great playing a character like this for so long with so many things that have happened to him because I do discover so much, but I'm, I'm going to learn more this season than I think I've ever learned before that. What are we going to learn in this season about Jamie and his father, his relationships? Yeah. I, you know, with it about his father, you know, John taking the governorship from him, which was the only thing Jamie mm -hmm. really wanted out of this whole terrible deal he was put into. It reveals to him that his father is a weak man. He's a man with no ideas, really. Doesn't really know what to do right now. And he's panicking and pushing buttons. <laughs> and he's also a hypocrite. So that loss of veneer of invincibility, I think, is dangerous for John because now Jamie sees John as, as a threat. And Beth, whatever feeling of love or reconciliation he had for her was gone when she forced him to kill his father. So now he's only got hate for her as well. And I think this makes Jamie a dangerous man because he's, He's under her thumb. He can't do anything now, but he is boiling and he's waiting for his moment. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of inside of Jamie that's boiling and it needs to come out. I mean, he's getting mm. like in a darker headspace. You think that he's in a dark hair space right now? Oh, yeah. Darkest he's been. He's got to put on a show because he's the um, attorney general. He's got to help get John elected. He doesn't want them to know how strongly he's feeling about them. But he is at his darkest point and most dangerous because... He's enraged and he is trapped and he wants to lash out. He wants it back. He wants to get back. What do you think that you, you as Wes, has learned about Jamie? Did, did you learn something from him? Yes, you know, it's, it, it may be boring to hear, but I learned a lot about land legalities. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a lot about land ownership and things I hadn't, didn't care about before. And, um, and also how to play the, the, that game like Jamie does, you know, it's been really fascinating to explore that, you know, and understand that a bit better than I had before. Um, how is shooting in such a beautiful place for you guys? Oh, it's a dream. I mean, it's like, you know, it's all you, you, part of why you want to do this is to go to all these places you want to go in the world. And uh, I had never been to Montana before, and it, is, it truly is one of the most beautiful places I've been in the world. Um, and uh, I, I feel lucky to get to spend so much time there and with the people and to represent mm -hmm. them in a way. So, you know, it's been a great, I, I love to go on hikes out there. It's so beautiful when it snows, so beautiful when it's warm. And it's just, it, it, we're really lucky to get to be there. But I have just one minute left. So uh, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your and, time. And uh, I wanted to know, what do you expect people to, to see this season? It, the political intrigue and the tension, I think, is something new, and that's going to be really exciting for everyone. And it, it, it's timely here in the States. 
And, um, and I think that's going to, a lot of cliffhangers, a lot of new people. And I think the tension's higher and the stakes have never been higher. Great. Thank you so much. Thank and you. hope you have a good day. Thank you. You too.